May I help you? My sword is yours. Waiting for orders, my lady. For I was dead. For Falcon Nest. Until next time. No enemy will cross Falcon Nest's gate. Waiting for orders, my lady. Huh? Yes, I followed the bastard beast. I felt its smell from miles away. I was dying to crush his cranium and watch him agonize. But from where the stinky one comes from, there are many others. So I decided to follow them up to their camp. I discovered they are preparing an invasion. Wow, you are very fast. But calm down, hero. The attack will be in Riften, not here. I informed the Jarl, and they should be preparing themselves. Layla asked for our support. It's important to have her gratitude. It might be of use to Evarstead in the future. You know how the nobles are. They talk a lot. I prefer the sound of bones crushing and the cry of pain of the unfortunates who cross our path. The battle will take place near the Gate of Riften. I will mark it on your map. Let's hurry before we miss the party. I already left some men near there. Large and strong walls. Tall and strong more soldiers. That's what I can do.
I lost many friends in the war. The life of a mercenary is hard, but nothing that can't be forgotten with a great knight at the tavern. <laughs> I love seeing the savages agonize. Have you seen the size of their commander? He looked like a bear. I will make a rug out of him. I will keep his head as a trophy. Lucky Riften for having our support. The savages were in greater number and could have taken the city. It was a pleasure to fight by your side. It was a great battle. I will return to Evarstead now, and I'll keep an eye on the savages' moves. Salutations, my lady. I fought at Captain Magnus' side during the Civil War. He was a great warrior, and I will stay safe in his hands. Hello. How are you doing? Oh yes, the news has spread to the four corners of Skyrim. Now we have the gratitude of Riften and its people. 
I was told you won out a giant. Oh, your bravery inspires us. The kids in Iverstead already pretend to be you in their plays. Your bravery helped us in the negotiations. The Arl was impressed by your great support and popularity. It helped us to negotiate the price of the land. She agreed to receive 50,000 in gold. However, she imposed some conditions on us. The requirements are as follows. Support Riften when necessary with a definitive alliance for 30 years. Help to protect the people of the region of Riften and Iverstead from the invasions of Red Skulls. And after payment, make her one last favor. Under acceptance of these terms, she will sell the land and titles of Iverstead and 20% of the territory of Riften for 50,000 in gold. Yes, it is a beneficial agreement for both sides. You help to protect Riften and Lay the Lawgiver receives a good amount of gold and a strong ally. You will have 20% of the lands of Riften, total control over our land, and shall be the Lord of Iverstead, a noble hero, and a true Jarl. Concerning the favor, she asked me to reveal it only after the payment and the proof of bravery. The payment as agreed is 50,000 in gold. The proof of bravery consists in collecting 100 craniums of red skulls, and to bring them to me with the gold. This will prove you will defend all. For many, this would be an impossible task, but not for you! I trust on you, hero. When you have the craniums and the gold, look for me. Wherever there's a need for construction, can we build it? Yes! Education and intelligence are crooked. To what do I owe the honor yes. of your noble visit? Education and intelligence are crooked. That's what my father always taught me. But our people are so rude. Most can't even read uncultured swine.